Do you have a Ruida controlled laser that you're trying to hook up to your computer over ethernet and can't figure it out? Well, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. It's honestly not a hard process at all and should only take you a couple minutes to set up. There's a few things you'll have to do and whether you're using Mac OS or Windows, I'll have the commands listed in the description that way you can copy and paste them and easily get up and going. My name is Patrick, this is Creative Workshop. Thanks for tuning into this video and let's get started. Of course, to get started, before you do anything on the controller or the computer, you're gonna to wanna to plug in your ethernet cable. So just simply plug it into the ethernet port on the laser, and then at the back of your computer, you'll plug that in, and we are ready to dive into Lightburn and your Wii controller to get everything programmed. To get started, you'll first need to find the IP address of your ethernet adapter. On Windows, you'll launch Command, and on Mac, you'll launch Terminal. Windows, you'll type ipconfig, and on Mac, you'll type ifconfig. I'll have those in the description below. And once you have those, then you'll be able to get everything set up. Write it down, do whatever you need to, but you're gonna need to have your IP address and the subnet mask written down and ready to use once we go over to the laser. Once you have the IP from your computer, you're going to come to your laser that's plugged in, you're gonna hit your ZU button, navigate all the way down to IP config, hit enter. Now you're gonna go through and just change this. So I'm not gonna actually change any of these settings. Uh, these are the settings that I used, but you'll hit the ZU button to go between everything and get it all entered. Here's the one thing you wanna remember. Do not enter the actual IP address that you saw on your computer. You wanna enter typically just one number off as you saw on my computer, it was .39, so I entered .40 here on the laser. And then what you'll wanna do is jump down to your gateway and make sure that your gateway settings are all the same. Now, once we have this set, should only take you a second, we can head back into Lightburn, get the information that we enter here, entered into Lightburn, and you will be all connected. So now we're gonna start by hitting the devices button on your screen and then add new. You wanna add it manually. Choose Ruida, obviously, and then you'll pick the ethernet slash UDP option. From there, we'll enter the IP address that we put into the laser. And then we go on to actually naming the device. So here I'm putting Monport 80 watt because that's my laser and 900 by 600 for the bed size because that's what it is. And then I set the homing area to the rear right because that's where my laser homes. And now I am all ready to go. And there you have it. Now your uh, Ruida controlled laser, like this Monport right here, is connected to Lightburn. Um, it, it really is simple. It truthfully only takes a handful of minutes to do. And once you're up and running, you'll love it. Now you can hit send and send the file to the laser to run it from the Ruida controller. Uh, you can just hit play and run it that way. You can really do whatever. And it is ready to go and you won't have any issues. You won't have any packet drops or any of that stuff. So it will be set up. This is the only way I've ever used my Monport and the only way that I will use Ruida controllers at this point. I'm not gonna use USB. I'm either gonna use ethernet or I will get like the Lightburn bridge or any of those items to make it wireless sometime in the future. But for now, ethernet works great. It's reliable. My computer is still on the network uh, wirelessly. So the ethernet jack is just for the laser, wireless for actual internet and all of it is done. If you're looking to save some money on a laser, I've got a code in the description below that can save you 10% at Monport on just about anything they offer. Um, Monport and I have partnered in order to offer you that discount. I do get a little bit of a kickback if you purchase through my links, doesn't cost you anything extra. Like I said, it saves you money uh, to use my link in my code below. And if you have any questions about Monport or just the Ruida controller, any of that stuff, please send me a message or go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help answer those questions. If you've got video ideas that you wanna see in the future, then again, just leave that comment below. I will do my best to get to them. We've got several other videos coming out like how I have my air compressor here hooked up to the laser with dual stage air. So I have a low flow of air whenever I am engraving and high flow when I'm cutting. If you're curious what the high flow looks like, well, this right here has had no post-processing. It's Baltic Birch, that is straight off the laser. That's what the edges look like. 
That's what the face looks like. And even that's what the back looks like. Zero burn, zero char, looks fantastic. So all of that is coming in the future as well as a light burn camera setup because we've got a light burn camera in here and much more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is Patrick with Created Workshop and I'll catch you in the next one.